Good morning! So I wanted to show you this organizational technique that I just thought of using. I'm sure I'm not the first person to ever do this, but I just thought of it and it seemed like a good idea. So I'm going through this drawer right here, which is one of the drawers in this thing. And it was a huge mess, just full of wires, and I couldn't find anything in there. So what I decided to do is take some uh, bags, quart-sized bags, and organize everything into their own separate bags. So it should be easier to find stuff. Every bag has its own stuff. Like this is audio and headphones, and there's one microphone in there. Here we have cell phones, like old cell phones, and a travel cell phone that I bought. Here we have USB related items. So this is USB, mini, micro USB, anything USB. This is a couple webcams. This is iPhone related. This is just some USB drives. This is uh, video related. So there's just an HDMI cable and a HDMI to display port adapter. This is networking stuff. This is power related stuff. And then there's still some other items that I haven't found a place for, but hopefully it should be good enough. Like once I put everything in, so we can put the phone stuff. Um, what do I know? I want these anytime soon, probably. Put those in there. Put this stuff back here. Oh, and that's just some stuff. I don't know what it is, so I just threw it in there. Don't need that. This stuff. USB. Not working. Video. Oh, let's start putting stuff in the front. Video. Power. Oh, that's it. So now it should be much easier to find stuff in there. And I still need to figure out what to do with the rest of this because there's still a good amount of other stuff. <sighs> yeah. All right. Bye. Hello. Hello. Are you filming yourself? No, I'm filming you. Oh, you're supposed to film yourself in a oh. quarter mile. Turn. Okay. I'm on myself. Um, so it's 11.11, and we are driving at night, because it is 11.11 p.m. We're coming back from Jasmine's co-worker's home, and we had like a, I guess it was a fancy dinner there. It wasn't fancy. We had a dinner there, a dinner party, and it was pretty fun. Um... I think I had previously met all of them there, except except for obviously you know uh, one of them's girlfriend, and yeah, they're a pretty nice bunch. Especially the uh, the hostess. She was one of those people that make you reevaluate your own morality. She's just so nice. She's just so nice. Everything she does. Everything she does. She, she gave us back all the leftovers of the food that she made. And She's like, take it, take it, eat yeah. it, please. You're helping us by taking it. <laughs> and even gave us plastic yeah. containers for them. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that's what that's what we did. And uh, I think we got there at like uh, 5? 30. 5.30. So I guess we were there for five and a half hours. We didn't spend a lot of time eating. Spent a lot of that talking and some other time playing games. We played Flux and uh, Bananagrams. The one thing I have to say that's really nice though is they invited you. Yeah, they invited me. And uh, a lot of my friends, like the other people that I hang out with, are all single. Yeah. And don't really do that and they don't really appreciate it when I bring you. Yeah. So it's nice to have a couple of friends. It's nice to have a couple of friends, apparently. I wouldn't really know because I don't really have friends that I can visit and stuff. <laughs> but yeah, that, that's pretty interesting. Um, what else should I talk about? I don't know. I don't know. I guess uh, I guess that's pretty much all there was to it. Jasmine made a, uh, a white raspberry, white, white chocolate, chocolate raspberry, raspberry cake, cheesecake. cheesecake. For, for that, and we brought it, and it was pretty.
pretty well received. I think everyone liked it. Every, it every, everyone ate all of it, except for one of them who, who uh, left a tiny bit of crust. <laughs> I was paying attention. I see. Uh, yeah, and I thought it was pretty good. I didn't expect to like it as much as I did. Really? Well, because like, you know, raspberry is my favorite fruit, but like, whatever. It's not like I dislike raspberry or anything. Yeah. But I think it's just because I like cheesecake and white chocolate. I couldn't taste the chocolate. It was there. Oh. I mean, it wasn't like a big deal, but it was definitely there. It was mostly cheesecake, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and uh, sadly we didn't get to bring back any of the leftovers of that. <laughs> you could have taken it. No, it's she okay. offered it. I just felt like we didn't need more dessert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't really think we needed it, I just, I was just saying that. Um, and, uh, yeah, Jasmine has some leftover fried rice, so she doesn't have to eat my boring pasta. Uh, it's not you, it's just pasta. I just don't like pasta. Okay. It's not personal at all. I, I just don't like pasta. I, I understand. I don't want you to feel offended. I, I was just kidding, love. And uh, I think that's it. I think we're both pretty tired now. Yes. Yeah, I don't. I don't think we were expecting to stay there till eleven. No. I was kind of thinking about saying something when it was like ten, like maybe we should get going, but I feel like that would have been heard and it, it might seem kind no, of well, rude. Well, she she told us she's like, oh, you guys have a long drive, you can leave or yeah. whatever. I just figured like I personally, whenever I'm in situations like that where I'm hanging out with people. And I have the option to either keep hanging out with them or go home. I try to always, or like, basically when the choice is between being social or sleeping, yeah. I try to always opt to be social because I'm not social very often. Yeah. So I feel like, you know, even if I miss a couple hours of sleep, it's probably the better option in the long run. I understand. Um, I guess that's it. Anything else you want to say? No. We're gonna go home and then go straight to bed. Yeah. So, bye.